Hi guys, this is days 81 to 90 and we go back to a much needed driving school. <laughs> but before we do get started, if you did enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing and help us hit our next goal of 20,000 subscribers. Thanks guys, now let's get on with the video. Okay, we are back on day 81. We are definitely getting through them, aren't we? Only 20 left, wow. Right, so I think the plan over the next 10 is we're actually going to go down on this island because I reckon there's something here, you know. This definitely looks like a bridge, so I think we're probably going to fence over there. That's the plan. Maybe we go up to the gas station here and shoot off the AK a little bit just to clear it out a little bit, I think, in the forest and that. That could be a pretty good shout. Let's see if we got any ammo to take with us. Yes, we have a lot of ammo. Let's just put all that on the floor. Oh, jeez, we got 42 boxes. Okay. You only get 30 in a box by the looks. Okay, so 270. Well, we'll go down and assess the situation anyway today, I think. Let's grab ourselves some chips. Gotta be a little bit careful because our calories are very high now. We're 80 and rising. So, yeah, just gotta watch that. Actually grab some more smokes as well while we're at home. And of course, fill the water up. <laughs> All right, let's get down there. We may even stay at our old base down there for a little bit. Possibly. I don't know yet. All right, so just going past our old base. Yeah, let's go and let's get over the bridge today just to see what it's like over there. Okay, here we are at the gas station. We may actually hunk down at the gas station. I don't know if we are going to use the gun, you know, just because I don't want to get pinned down over here. Yeah, let's actually pop the gun in the trunk, I think. All that work for aiming. <laughs> we will use it again, though. Right, how's it looking in this gas station? We'll take the pop. Well, it looks like I smashed every single window in here, so we probably won't be staying in here. We'll just go back to our old bed. Wee, easy there. All right, we've got a fair bit of a way to get down through the forest here. Hopefully it's clear. At least we've got plenty of wood around to build the bridge. Yeah, we could go around and use the bridge, but I don't even know if that we're going to be able to get over on that bridge. And we'd have to drive through off-road. Oh, wow. Well, look, yeah, there's definitely something over there. A lot of zombies as well. But that's fine. We, yeah, we'll build a cross. Probably here, actually. Let's chop down some trees. All right. Well, we got plenty of logs now. <laughs> look at that. The snow's going as we're building. Oh, leveling carpentry. Thank you very much. What level are we on now? Oh, yeah, level eight. Okay, so we got one more to go. We'll probably do that tomorrow, to be honest. We may actually bring the gun down and just pop them off from here. Let's give it a shout here and see if any come over. Then we'll know if it's safe to use the gun. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, well, let's get back to the car anyway. All right, let's get out of here. All right, well, we are back here where it all began. Well, not quite. Let's clear these bastards out. Have a little smoke. Oh, look, we even left the door open. <laughs> Any bastards in here? No, it's fine. What VHS was this? Oh, the Thompsons. Nah, not interested. Oh, no, they broke my gate down. Always with the gates, you bastards. Always with the damn gates. Oh, well. Yeah, this was a nice little base when we was over here, actually. We're definitely on the bigger and better things, though. We are very hungry, but I'm probably not going to eat because we are, yeah, on 81. So we got to watch that. Right, it's 10 to 11. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to get over to that island. We'll see you then. All right, day 82. We've awoken in our old base, safe and sound. Oh, yeah, there was no water left in here, was there? Man, that's not going to be a problem. Is there no bathroom in this house? No. Okay. Well, that's a bit strange. But anyway, we should be. Oh, oh no, we are not fine for water. Probably because chopping trees down all day. It got us a bit, bit thirsty. So let's go in here and see if we can get some. Ah, here we go, here we go. Oh, I didn't actually fill it up that much. Let's see if we can get some from upstairs. Not running out of water again. Uh, no. Right, okay, well... Oh, we do have some pop, though, don't we? Okay. I mean, we should be fine. We'll go in the gas station. That had a toilet in there, so we'll get some water out of there. Actually, if we're using the gun, let's park somewhere a little bit safer, shall we? That we can escape for if it gets a little bit crazy down here. Let's take care of these bastards. All right, now let's go raid the petrol station for some water. There we go. Nice and full. I mean, there's loads of stuff here as well, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Right, let's get down there and get shooting. Yeah, because what we've got to be careful of is that a load of zombies don't stop coming down here. Then we're going to be in trouble, but... As long as we keep an eye out. Right, let's go to town on these bastards. Just keep a lookout behind us. Come on, we should be hitting them from here. They're standing still. Well, they are coming over here, which is going to save us a lot of work when we get over there. 
Is this actually increasing our aiming? Oh, so little. Yeah, we're not going to try and push for any more in aiming. If we get it, we get it. If not, oh well. What the hell is that? Some kind of giant burger on the table. Right, we need to get in there. Okay, let's, 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 let's. I think we're okay to put another floor in. Oh, I see some more coming through. Okay. Oh, they can get through. They can get through. Okay, this is fine. Okay, well, we are, we are over. We are over. I'm not going to go in the back now. Let's get around the front. Look at this. Are these, it's like Christmas lights. Is it Christmas? Oh, wow. Look at all of this. This has got to be something cool over here, hasn't it? Ah, oh, PM pistol. We'll take that. It's in good condition. Look at this. Look at it now. We got the Christmas tree. We got a boat over here. Some Jack Daniels and a very large burger. Well, I mean, you know, if you're going to have a burger, you're going to have a, you know, do it right. Get a big one. Fill up our water as well. Okay, let's go upstairs. TV remote. I believe that is one of the hot, rarest items in the game. That's what I've heard anyway. Okay, well, that's one house done. Got a little shed or something in a garage over here. Well, I guess our laceration is okay. <laughs> I completely forgot about that, actually. Oh, a hatchet, but it's in very bad condition, so we're probably not going to take that. Pretty cool houses, though, that's for sure. Got to be some kind of secret weapons bunker or something, isn't it? It's like a little... Look at this, they got the speakers and everything. This is cool. So I guess this is one of the map mods, you know, that's been added and someone's done this island separately. Pretty damn cool though. And then it doesn't even show on the map. This is some kind of rock star or something living in here. Okay, well, that's that building done. What else we got around here? Oh, look at this, the door's here. It does just look like a house. Yeah, it looks like it's just houses, but they're very big houses. Look at this, pull table up here. Look at oh! You bastard! Gotta be careful. <laughs> Got to be careful. Yeah, they're loving their speakers over here, aren't they? We are very, very hungry. Let's have some pop. Look at these. Yeah, these are definitely like mansions. This guy's got an elevator to his roof. Do you hear zombies in here? I just don't know where. Oh, here we go. Nice bedroom. Look at this. What's, what's that? A meat tenderizer on the bed. Brilliant. <laughs> All right, well, it's getting late, so probably we'll stay in one of these houses. Probably in this room here. Look at this. I don't know what this is, but <laughs> yeah, we'll probably stay in here and finish exploring the island tomorrow. Now, I do see these ladders, so we will go up there. Oh, look at this. A little loft conversion by the looks. I'm not jumping out that window. <laughs> yeah, so we got more houses. We will go through them all tomorrow. So I'm interested to see what else is over here. It's got to be some little secret or something, isn't there? But it is 10 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Yeah, keep exploring. We'll see you then. All right, day 83. We've woken up at an okay time, 10 past 6. Not ideal, but we probably wait around actually till it gets a little bit lighter. We do need to fill our water up though. There we go, 10 past 7. We should be fine out there now. Now we got snow, but yeah. Let's just keep exploring. Doesn't look like the zombie pop is crazy busy over here. We had a few up at the north side, didn't we, with the gun, but that looks about it. Look at this building. This looks good. We'll go in there in a sec. Oh, easy. Oh, wow. With some, uh, <laughs> there's some big old bleach bottles in here. <laughs> Can't interact with them, so they're just part of the map, I guess. I love the Christmas trees. So many bleach bottles. I expose a survival. That's the first VHS we found. Don't really need that, though. I mean, I think this guy just loved bleach. He's got it all on his wallpaper and everything. Where does this door go? Ah, oh, a little balcony. Okay. Oh, there's a tent there. Nice. All right, let's go in this glass house. Oh, I see zombies in there. Well, doors are locked, but I mean, the house has just got glass walls. So, you know what we do with that? Oh, we can't even, we can't smash them. What? Okay, we're in, we're in. Don't look like we can actually get upstairs because of the so elevator only. Okay, well, all right. Well, doesn't look like we're going up there. I hear things smashing as well. So, all right, let's do this side then. Let's explore this side, the east side. Don't look like there's anything over this side. That's fine. Then we'll go to the south. We'll see if that is a bridge there as well. Well, I uh, should probably eat some chips because we are very hungry. Okay, weight is dropping out, which is good. Oh, we do need to rest somewhere. Let's get jump in one of these houses and rest up. Okay, what well, we got down here then? Oh, we got some zombies. We got some big old houses. Interesting. All right, let's have a look. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's hang around because hopefully this island should be pretty clear now i see some zombies coming from up there we might be able to take them you know just gonna keep our wits about us i mean we may as well use the gun now haven't we oh there's a lot in that building okay all right let's get the hatchet out 
Oh, there is quite a few. Starting to get a little bit panicked, actually. Let's take some baities. Okay, well, that's uh, the majority of them, I think. At least we know the rest of the island should be clear now. All right, what we got in here then? Anything? We will keep taking this pop because it'll take our hunger away and won't give us calories. Now this big old room. I live in the dream in here. Got a balcony and everything. Maybe we stay here for the day, actually. For the night, sorry. Oh, he's got a big old garage as well. Look at all this. Yeah, I think we'll stay here for the night and then keep pushing on down tomorrow. Living like kings tonight. All right, it's 20 past 10. We're going to get to bed tomorrow. We'll finish the island. We'll see you then. All right, day 84. We have awoken fresh and ready to go. We are still very hungry, but we're on minus 2,000 odd calories, so we should be able to eat now. Go, okay, look at that. We should still be dropping. Yep, now it looks like we got a bit of fog outside, which isn't ideal, but we do. We work with what we got, really, don't we? Oh. Oh, yeah, this is awful fog. Maybe let's go and wait in this house here to see if it passes. Again, another pretty cool and big house. All right, let's wait a little bit on the balcony here, see if the fog passes. <laughs> it still has not passed at 20 to 5, so it looks like today's going to be a write-off. Ah, oh, we don't have any bloody gas in our lighter. Damn it. All right, well, it's 10 past 10. The fog has finally gone, but we have lost the day. But hopefully tomorrow we should be okay. Let's go to bed and we'll crack on tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right, day 85. Weather looks okay outside, which is good. Now, we do need a bloody lighter or some matches or something now, which isn't ideal. But there's nothing we can really do about it, to be honest. The gas station at the vehicle at our Jeep will probably have, have some form of fire starter. Oh, yeah, look, the bridge is out there. Okay, well, we've only got this one house left. It's a bit spooky, actually, this house. It's so dark in here. I don't know where the, where the hell they're banging. Very dark in here. It's like a maze. Yeah, I do not like this building. I cannot see nothing. Oh, there's more stairs here. Okay, we're in the loft. Oh, there's a rifle over here. SKS. Terrible condition. All right, let's get out of here. I think we're done with the island. If I can remember how to get the hell out of here. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, the bridge is gone. you got a little toilet here. There is a, is a zombie in there. We're not going to mess around with him because we are tired. Well, exhausted. Cool little island. Definitely worth checking out. Let's check these zombies for any lighters or anything. Ah. Perfect. I've got a lot of gas, but it'll do us. Okay, we are out of here. Well, thank you, Island. You've been a pleasure. All right, we're back in the car. Let's go and see if we can get a couple of match boxes. I wouldn't mind keeping a box of matches in our fanny pack, actually, as a backup. So, uh, all right, well, we'll just keep a lighter in there. Oh, no, there is matches there. Anything worth taking while we are here? I mean, there's a load. Of oh, let's drink a load of pop. Oh, there we are. Well fed. We drank, what, nine cans of pop. All right, let's get back to our proper base, I think. I've missed it. I won't lie. I've missed it. All right, we are home. Now, I do want to check the hood because we may have, um, you know, hit a few zombies along the way here and it looks a bit battered. Uh, 39. Okay, well, we need to do something about that. We're going through hoods like there is no tomorrow. Oh, here we go. Right here. Thank you very much. We'll also take your engine parts. Now, engine's on 88. Nice. Lovely. Good as new. Look how many hoods we've been through. Jesus. Well, I mean, that one's completely broken. And then we got, what, 18, 39, 36. Brilliant. And the AK is not really doing as much good as it. So we'll just get rid of it. <laughs> just get rid of it. Wouldn't mind. What ammo did the PM take? 9 by 18 mil. All right. Well, we're not taking any, any guns out to hell with it. We don't need them. The ESS, that's actually suppressed, isn't it? Looks like it might be. Okay, okay. What does this take? 9 by 39. Okay, we've got two boxes there. Also looks like that's suppressed as well. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. We got some suppressors here. We only have two boxes of ammo, though. So how many we got in there? Ugh. 10 in each box. All right, well, it's something. It's a suppressed weapon, I suppose. <laughs> All right, but it's half past 10. We're going to have a very quick smoke. Fill our waters up and get to bed tomorrow. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but we'll figure it out. We'll see you then. All right, day 86. Waking up at a reasonable time. 10 to 8, not too bad. Now, we do have fog, which isn't ideal, but I think we might go on foot a little bit up to this area up here. Just up here, just see how we're looking up there. Test out this uh, suppressed rifle thing as well. Let's do it. Let's hop the fence. Let's go. Just a little bit more exploring. Oh, we have some zombies already. Let's try to test out the rifle. It's good. I like it. <laughs> Shame we don't have more ammo. 
So we got some kind of big car park. Yeah, some. Oh, it's a football field maybe. A lot of zombies around here. Oh god! See all them burst through there. Oh my god! Look at this. Let's get the gun out. <laughs> Perfect time to use it. And we're out of the two mags, so we've got nine rounds left. Actually get the machete, I think. Whoa, where the hell did all these come from? Uh, looks like we got the majority of them that burst through there. All right, let's keep exploring. Oh, there's a load there. Let's deal with them. Maybe duck in this house, see if we can get some food as well. Why is there so many around here? A bit hesitant to go into this building now. Oh, look at this truck. No, let's not go in there. Um, I'm sure we'll find a shop somewhere. And what's this here? A shop. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I got a few shops around here by the looks. This actually looks like a bookstore. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, not really what we wanted. Uh, we got some stuff in here. Uh, marmalade. Yeah, okay, eat the marmalade. And some jam. We still need another camping canteen, don't we? Oh, we got a big old supermarket there. Okay. No bloody camping canteens anywhere. We were lucky to find the one we got. Okay, let's keep pushing along here. Oh, chocolate, we'll eat that. Okay, we got some kind of building here, which looks quite interesting. Also quite a few zombies around, but we'll make short work of them. All right, let's go have a look then. Oh, what's that building there? That looks quite interesting. Maybe we have a look in there as well. Um, that is a restaurant. <laughs> okay, brilliant. What's our axe? Our axe is getting there. Aiming. Yeah, ripping piece aiming. <laughs> what is this building? It's got its own little pier. Maybe a hotel, actually. I don't really want to go in there. No, sir. So we got more storage lots down here. So many storage lots. Construction site over there with a crane. That crane's pretty cool. All right, let's head back, I think. So we are quite a fair bit away, and we are on foot. All right, we are home. Probably put some f food in my backpack so I don't forget. Put a couple of chilies. We may as well drop off this rifle now, haven't we? Because we don't have any ammo for it. So see you later. All right, but it's 10 to 11. I think tomorrow, let's bring up the old map a sec. I think maybe we check this out. This could be quite cool. Is this like a golf course or something like that? But yeah, well, we'll have a look in there and then go from there, really. But we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 87. We've woken up a bit later today, but that's fine, that's fine. How are we looking calorie-wise? Let's get some... You know what? Let's have an MRE to hell with it. There we go. Probably leveled us off on weight because we were... Oh, 78 and dropping. Okay, uh, maybe have another one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Right, okay, let's carry on exploring. Let's fill our water up very quickly. Let's go and carry on exploring up north. Like I said, I want to get into them little back roads. Could be like a little forest there or something. But let's go and explore any. Anyway. Oh, we got a bastard. We got a couple of bastards right here. Come on. As I was saying, let's go and have a bloody hell. Look at this. Oh, God. Minus 36. Body temperature's holding at 36, though, so that's fine. We definitely got some good clothes on, haven't we? Let's have a quick look at the insulation here. Yeah, oh, we got a bit of a gap there where they took a chunk out of us, the bastards, but we're, we're okay. Oh, we are fighting cold a little bit by the looks of it, but that's fine, it's fine. Wind resistance, not amazing. What about our blood vessels? Mm, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Right, let's go up this road, up this street here. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of woods or forest. Oh, we got a little shack thing up there. Let's go have a look. Some kind of burger stand, I'm guessing, if there's a football field here. We will, of course, check for a camping canteen. Not that there's much point in even getting one now, but it means we're so late in the, in the playthrough. But it's worth checking anyway. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Looks like there was, it was just a forest up there anyway. Oi, okay. Okay. Watch out, watch out. Looks like car alarms do draw them from quite far away. To be fair, I rarely have car alarms go off. I think I've probably had maybe that's the second or third I've ever had, I think. A mm, couple more cars and stuff. Looks like a parking lot, possibly. I've got a load of residential by the looks. Little school down there. Nice, nice, nice. A lot of bastards banging on this gate. Yeah, they're gonna they ain't gonna be long before they break through that. 
Here they come. Come on, you stupid bastards. I'm over here. Yeah, I think we've been on that road down there. Yeah, we have, because there's a load of blood there. That's our calling card. Okay, let's carry on along this road then, see what's down here. Ooh, maybe a military truck over here. Let's go check the boot of that. And of course, we'll check the glove box of this for camping canteen after we dealt with this bastard. Get out of it, you bastard. Oh, get out, get out, get out. A few more bastards coming over. Nope, still no bloody camping canteen. All right, hopefully we can get some ammo for our suppressed rifles in here. Nope. <laughs> oh, I hear a lot of zombies. I think they're in this building here. Probably a lot safer just going out on foot, to be honest. That's, uh, oh, we got a few here. Come on in. Let's have ya. All right, what we got over? Whoa, easy there. Easy there, fella. And what have we got here then? Oh, look, that's like a... Driving school. Ah, <laughs> nice. Okay, what we got here? It looks like a bloody restaurant. Got a church up there. Okay. Shall we give the driving school? I feel I need to go to the driving school. So we'll give it a go. See if we can get around without hitting any cones. <laughs> hopefully we can get in this van. And it's got fuel, hopefully. Uh, we do have a nomad down there. Maybe we take a coat, actually. And maybe her backpack as well. That is, wow, that is so, so much less on the bike defense and everything. Look at that. How is it that? 25.35. But we have had a chunk taken out of this, so I just don't know. I just don't know. But the backpack, what's that? 34.89. Let's have a look. 34.89. Yeah, okay. So we will actually take the backpack and we'll put new attachments on it and everything like that back at base. Um, we'll... Oh, the trousers are actually better. What trousers are we wearing? Padded. Yeah, okay. I, mm, no, these give us a lot more insulation and everything like that. So we'll keep what we got on. That's fine. We will take the backpack though. Has fuel apparently. One red, so I guess... So. No, it doesn't have fuel. Okay, well, brilliant. Eh, nothing in the back. Okay, well, at least we, uh, we... Oh, there's a pharmacy down here by the looks. What's over here as well? Ah, construction site. Okay. All right, well, let's start heading back so we can do this work on and we can change our backpacks over and stuff okay we are home safe and sound good little excursion that definitely i think tomorrow we'll have a base day we'll sort our bag out and you know what i might drive down to that driving school and give it a test and test myself in the truck the next day in the jeep <laughs> the day after tomorrow yeah i think i think we'll do it why the hell not eh let's actually go down and check on our gate as well yeah it's holding pretty well nice all right it's half past 11 we're gonna go to bed tomorrow so base day we'll sort our new backpack out and everything like that we'll see you then Okay, day 88. We are up and Adam. Right, let's sort this bag out. I'm sure we got leather and thread somewhere. Yeah, we got some thread. Nice. And uh, we got some leather as well. Anything else we want to put on our thing? That's it, you know. Right, let's get it on our back. Chuck that down there. Get out of it. All right, there we go. We got it. Machete's on our back. Looking good. Hey, can we put one of these hatches on there? Yeah, we can. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that's not in the best best of conditions, is it? <laughs> Maybe not then. Let's put one of these good ones on there. So I think we got a cut. Yeah, this one can go on there. Lovely stuff. Lovely. I mean, we do have this padded jacket here with no holes in, but it just now oh, we're okay temperature wise with with our ripped fireman's jacket so it's fine maybe we could repair because i think i've got the mod repair all clothing or any clothing or whatever it's called just don't know if it does work with fireman stuff i would have thought so yeah oh okay nice that's amazing probably should have done that ages ago to be fair but oops how's our weight looking actually 78 okay maybe we should start getting some mres in us i think when we're freezing we are so slow that's interesting okay well it is minus minus 35 at one point out there i think right, let's get some mres in us there we go we're gaining weight okay so we're cold yeah so the, yeah it just slows down minus 30 okay okay so it's 10 o'clock we're about to go to bed now a little test outside now our temperature is dropping out. let me just fast forward it a sec yeah look we are dropping temperature so like minus 34 these clothes just ain't cutting it i suppose <laughs> which you know these are probably one of the best you can get how's the padded jacket actually mm, winter yeah so that is better maybe we do wear it you know yeah let's wear it oh wait a minute we can wear that as well oh no we did take that off okay it's just dirty let's see if our temperature drops down now we are very tired we'll go to bed in a minute yeah it's still dropping so it's probably worth 
keeping the fireman's jacket on because having the padded ones isn't doing that much difference and it offers us more protection so okay right anyway let's go to bed we stayed up late we'll see you tomorrow okay day 89 now in the night we did drop as low as minus 15 in here which yeah we may have to start sleeping with with the fire on i think now also we do have fog out there which isn't going to be good for our driving test is it but we're still going to do it anyway because we're not having a base day again let's just get on down there Minus 29. Let's get this heater on. Okay, so I think if we just follow this road down here, it should take us to the driving school. All right, we made it. There's a few bastards around, but we'll uh, we'll make short work of them. They just want to come and see how amazing my driving is. All right, that looks like most of them. <laughs> right, are you going to give this a go then? Oh, oh, we got some people on the uh, on the track here. Come on, come on, get out of it. Get out of it, you bastards. Right, let's see if we can get round without knocking any cones over. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Here we go, here we go. Look at this. Easy stuff, easy stuff, easy. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, okay, well, oh, oh, okay. Well, mm, I think I think that's a pass. I think that's a pass. At least I didn't smash into one of the fence or something. Which, uh, yeah, I thought it was probably going to. But, yeah, I'll, I'll take that as a pass. Right, but let's just park the car up here. And we'll, we'll go on foot and have a little explore south of here, I think. Being as we're down here. Check out this pharmacy, maybe. Not that we really need anything, but uh, I think it's actually a hospital, you know. Yeah, it's a hospital. Okay. Well, I don't really fancy going in there, to be honest with you. Look at this. Minus 33. Well, pretty much minus 34. Oh, we will go in this, though. It's open. Yeah. Any good stuff in here? No. Oh, there's another part of the hospital here. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's deal with these bastards down here first. Yeah, let's take care of these bastards down here as well so they don't sneak up on us. Do you want to check out this little building here as well? Oh, another little supermarket place. Okay, that's fine. Also, can we climb these ladders? Let's have a look. Oh, we can. We can. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> All right, let's get down. Oh, I thought he was just going to jump off the edge then. My God. All right, let's go check out this other bit of the hospital then. Oh, wow, look. Books got plenty of first aid books. And yeah, general stuff in the lockers. Not really interested in any of that. All right, well, there's not really that much in here, and I don't really don't like hospitals because there's normally a high zombie presence in them, which kind of makes sense when you think about it. If you've been bit in the zombie apocalypse, you're going to go to the hospital. Well, most people would. As trained zombie apocalypse... Survivors wouldn't though, would we? We would know. Okay, it just looks like we got load of residential down there. Yeah, just residential everywhere. Right, let's start making our way back to the car, I think. So our body temperature is staying at 37, which I'm guessing because we're running and fighting and everything like that. Yeah, we're actually moist. <laughs> probably sweating a bit. Get that heater on. Oh, I wish it would stay on when you turn the car on. There's probably a mod for it somewhere. Oh, I think we did pretty well in the uh, driving test. Consi oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you want to revoke my license, maybe? <laughs> as I was saying, I think we did pretty well in the driving test because uh, it's bloody foggy as well. Okay, while we're in the car, let's go up and check the other barricade that we had to do on the other gate up here. Yeah, still all looks fine to me. Good, good, good. All right, let's check the hood after that incident. Ah, 56. It'll be fine. I mean, we could repair it. That, that should be fine. How is the APC actually after we smashed all of them zombies a few weeks ago? Oh, the hood is at 0%. Well, it's not, and the engine's at first, so it's not really very good for ramming bloody zombies then, is it? Hmm, okay, well, that, that that's risky because we could have got ourselves in some right old trouble down there. But probably not ideal, this APC, because it doesn't even have a boot in it or any kind of storage other than the seats. Well, it looks like the fog's finally cleared, but it's no bloody good now. Now we're back at base, is it? Right, let's actually go and... Put some wood in our fire as well. Put some of these books in there and then we'll use the magazines to start it. Actually, we, can we rip this? Yeah. We got 30 scrap paper. I mean, we're not even going to be here for another 30 days, so that's absolutely fine. Add fuel, add the scrap wood, and actually add all these books as well. And then we'll chuck the paper on the floor <laughs> um, to light it when we go to bed. How much fuel is in there? Nine hours. Okay. 
Okay, so that'll probably do as a night. Probably go and find some logs or something. Yeah, there's trees over there. Maybe we do that tomorrow, actually. Right, let's light this fire up then. Oh, look at that. Let's see. Oh, instantly the 21 degrees. And it's minus 11 out here. Amazing. We may even get a bit sweaty in the night, but that's fine. Right, but we're going to go to bed tomorrow. We'll probably get some logs to put in our fire, actually, but we'll see you then. Okay, day 90. We've woken up at half past seven. It's nice temperature in here. Body temperature is 37, so that's good. Let's turn this off. Still an hour left on it, but that's fine. Oh, lovely. Lovely stuff. We are toasty. We actually got a bit sweaty. We got a bit moist. Do we have a wood? Actually, I know where there is a wood axe. Down here, I think. Yeah, down here. Let's grab that and chop the trees for some firewood. Okay, so we got four logs. Let's see how long that gives us, shall we? Drop this fire at uh, wood axe. Okay, add four logs. Okay, so that gives us 25 hours, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Now, let's bring the map up. Now, right, what do we do for the final 10? I feel we, we haven't really, you know, utilized the city to its full potential in regards to going to everywhere, but it's just a lot of residential everywhere these all look like residential be nice if the map had color coded but you know it is what it is i let you can go all the way down this road here probably be a bit spicy down there to be fair with you but i don't know we'll figure something out for the last 10 don't really want to go all the way out of town on the last 10 we never did go down here but then it makes me think is this even finished because there's nothing there's just roads here on the map so don't want to get all the way down there and there'd just be nothing because it's the other side of the bloody map oh this actually could be a, an airport here you know we'll figure something out that's for sure but we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day as it is a 10th day and we never normally do so we're probably going to leave it there for this episode so thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy it and i will see you in the next one cheers just want to give a massive thank you to all of our youtube members but a big shout out to everyone on the shambler tier john smith rob jones 309 basehead akuna whiskey mug daddy too cool norm slater sudsy 34 jasmina composition geek love nails and a coach in lunacy thanks guys really appreciate it